No one's wired for reading and writing. We're biologically wired for visual pattern recognition. Reading is an invention. It's something that human beings came up with as a system to notate sound. It was never invented to be read. What Gutenberg gave us was a way to record information and disseminate it. And that then encouraged education because you needed to be able to read. And the nature of who you are and what you are changes because of print. One night, my daughter was sobbing, going to sleep. She had just been told that the third graders go down and help the first graders read. And she was so worried that that was going to happen because she couldn't read. I was asked to serve on a panel for a state board of education that was redoing their standards for reading teachers. And one of them said, we shouldn't include instruction about dyslexia because there's no scientific evidence that dyslexia exists. Right now, um, most schools have a way to fail a model in place. And so you fail over a significant period of time, usually until second or beginning of third grade, before someone says, okay, now we better start looking into this. It was as if they'd never heard of dyslexia, and that was shocking to me. And that's when we decided, I think we need to talk to a, a lawyer who knows something about this, and ultimately ended up in the federal courts. We had to actually, you know, lift the rock, if you will, and reveal to teachers that our children weren't doing as well as we thought they were. Teachers w were hungry for the knowledge and to develop their understanding of what dyslexia really is. We are doing research to try to understand how a person who has dyslexia may process pictures and images in ways that are different from typical readers. There is a lot of popular perception and anecdotal evidence that people with dyslexia have uh, advantages. But what the research tells us is that on average, we don't see strong effects for spatial or visual advantages in people with dyslexia. We are in early evolution of what neuroscientists will ultimately discover about dyslexia. My belief is that if you look forward in 30 years, a lot of these advantages will be discovered and proven. The negative side of dyslexia is quite obvious to anybody who is dyslexic. We're wired for oral language, and we teach using a man-made system for print. And it's a very organized system, but it's not a match to the system we come with. Many, many times I thought, like, what is happening to other kids out there? I mean, like, the prisons are full of kids who didn't get the help they needed and they couldn't read, and then they, they drop out of high school and there are problems, and I, I was desperate for that not to happen. 